This is my last day at Fountainhead. Um, as I leave, I have mixed emotions. Um, I feel excited to be going back to my home. I feel pensive, but I feel confident. Um, I feel that I can now get back to my business with great confidence. I have new plans, new ideas, uh, something that I never had before I arrived here. I was too much wallowing in, in grief and pity and, and, uh, and uh, anxiety, not to mention depression. Um, and of course, um, as far as drinking too much, I certainly believe I've overcome that. My life will be so much different now, especially regarding my family and friends. Um, it's so important to make sure that these things are around us in the wholesome and wonderful way they, they can be, and I had that and lost it. I now believe I've achieved it. To best summarise the journey that I've been on, um, I've put together some verse, albeit not grammatically correct, but I'd like to share it with you, um, and it goes as follows. Um, I headed it up um, in memory of my, my dear wife who passed away about four months ago, and I just headed it to, uh, to honour someone's life is to live. And this goes back to as I left my home in Brisbane uh, to me leaving here about a month later, or 33 days later to be exact. Although worn out by constant anxiety and grief, I came to Fountainhead because of a belief. I went away on a wet autumn day with a mind and body that were entering decay. The clouds were angry, heavy and grey, with raindrops looking for a way to cleanse my spirit, my body and my mind and conquer the demons I left behind. I said farewell to the life I led, hoping and praying amid the tears I shed and one month later I know that I've been led into the care, the counsel and the journeys of Fountainhead. It's wonderful now that I find myself focused on travels that stretch beyond wealth. My life is peaceful now and that old track somehow is just full of memories with self inner peace and self-worth that broke the shackles of my birth. This second-hand man now has a plan to laugh and love and feel like a new man. And this new man can now achieve all of the things he once believed. Now I have arisen from despair as Fountainhead, as Fountainhead gives me the breath of fresh air. I think that's where I am, that's where I've been, and I'm so happy that I've been able to achieve the wonderful things that they've taught me. Of course, now the challenge is to, to carry on with, um, with the teachings that I've, I've been given, and I feel so confident uh, as I go back from this cocoon, uh, perhaps into the outside world, that I feel fully equipped, fully confident, and I know that I can achieve bigger and better things. There's no looking back. It's all about now and going forward and planning with confidence, with humility, um, but indeed with a, a, an attitude to succeed and achieve even bigger and better things than I've done in the past. Um, I know that I can be more embracing to my family. I know that I can be more embracing and supportive to my friends and staff, and I'm very, very comfortable with all of that now.